Hey guys, this is a cluster out of a uh, 2010 Dodge Ram, and I just uh, I'm converting it for use in another vehicle. But uh, I just wanted to uh, put out there something that I found pretty neat when working on these newer Mopar uh, cluster boards, and. I'm sure some of you have uh, had issues before where one of the stepper motors for the gauges stops working. <clears throat> and on the older ones, you had to, uh, you know, unsolder the whole stepper motor, the whole unit, and to carefully take it off and try not to, you know, lift any of the pads or the traces. Well, uh, same for the... Uh, the uh, buzzer, the little speaker that makes the noise, <clears throat> they're the same on, they're, they're attached to the board the same way on these. And so let's just say uh, you, you needed to replace a, step, a stepper motor. And uh, so you pull the board uh, cluster apart and you flip over to the back side there and you can see these white clips to, to remove this, you'll take a, uh, a multimeter probe or something, a small push pin, and push down in the center of these clips, and then use a pair of needle nose pliers and gently uh, squeeze these tabs in, all right? So then you can just pull the motor off like that. They're just contact, uh, well, you know what I mean, contact contacts, friction contacts. So you can just get another one and place it on there and that's the extent of it. I mean, that's so much easier than, you just put it in like that. And then you uh, take your little pin and slide it down through there to push the, uh, the retainer back up through to spread those pins apart so that it won't pop out. And it's done. Simple as could be. And the same thing is right here is where the, uh, the seat belt and the door jar and the key and ignition buzzer mounts. There's three uh, pin uh, holes right there where the tabs go through and lock on it and right here's where the the power contacts are and same thing you would just uh, push the plastic tabs out of the way and the uh, little speaker module pops right off the board and you can put a new one on it so I just thought that that would uh, be useful information to some of you guys that might have a bad gauge for the steppers or a bad stepper for the gauges and instead of buying a completely brand new board because you're afraid of soldering on it, these just come right off and it's a pretty simple thing to do. So I thought I'd put that out there for you guys. All right. Anyway, thanks a lot.